for watching. And I'm going to talk about a topic today that might surprise you. I don't really talk about it a whole lot, but I want to talk about fasting. Um, for years, I've been hearing about different kinds of fasts, and I'm actually a believer in fasting for health purposes. And I think for those of you who um, are bodybuilders or maybe you hear this term insulin resistant and you're insulin resistant, carbs don't seem to work as well for your body. I want to talk about that because I believe fasting is a great tool. And let me, let me explain why. So let's talk about diabetes for a second. So type one diabetes, it's very simple. Your body doesn't produce insulin, okay? Short story is, your pancreas isn't going to produce insulin. So when you eat carbohydrates, the glucose is in your blood, but it's not getting shuttled into cells. That's what insulin does. It shuttles glucose into cells, whether it be muscle cells or fat cells. So these people have to take insulin to make that happen. Now, here's where it kind of goes, and here's where it kind of goes off into our world, in the bodybuilding and fitness world. So then you have type 2 diabetes. Okay, this is more lifestyle related. This is generally people who eat a lot of carbohydrates or real high calorie diets for a long period of time with no break. So when you eat carbohydrates, you, your pancreas produces insulin, right? But then you keep eating carbohydrates, you keep eating carbohydrates, you just keep doing it. And your pancreas makes more insulin and more insulin and more insulin. And again, for, for uh, the glucose to get out of your blood and into a cell, it needs insulin to do that. But what happens is the insulin talks to receptors that sit on your cell and it says, hey, go ahead, let, let, it, let it in, let the glucose into the cell, okay? Well, this is where people get insulin resistant. So there's so much insulin from eating so much, they get what's called insulin resistance because the insulin receptors, they just get tired. They're just like, ah, I need a break. That's kind of the simple message. Now, I want you to think about that with bodybuilding. Uh, and there's, there's, two, there's two pieces here. There's a health aspect. You don't want high blood sugar, you can get diabetes. And there's also, like from a bodybuilding perspective, body composition is greatly uh, influenced by how well you partition nutrients. So if you can get glucose into your muscle cells, then you, can, you have glycogen in your muscle, you're nice, you're big, full, you're strong, you feel good. But again, that doesn't happen um, a lot of times because people are insulin resistant. So how do you do that? So what's the solution? You can lower your carbohydrates and lower the amount of insulin you're producing, or you can do it the fast way. The fast way is to fast. When you fast, you're not, you're not eating, right? So you're, you pay, you're not telling your pancreas to make insulin. It's not happening. So you give your body the ability then to burn the, the glycogen out of your muscles, burn liver glucose. You basically burn blood sugar. And depending on how long you fast, you can burn it all out. Then you can actually burn some fat for energy, but it's a way to give your insulin receptors a break because now they're not seeing all that insulin floating around your blood. And also, if the cells are full of glucose, then they're allowing it to be used for energy. Now, so how long should you fast? Well, there's many different kinds of fasting. That's probably a whole other topic. For the purposes of insulin sensitivity, I like to do 24-hour fasts, okay? So you could take, for example, you could do uh, a 7 o'clock uh, dinner on a Thursday, and then you don't eat again until Friday at 7 o'clock. Um, that's what I like. I like to be fasted a little bit longer, like the 24 hours. You've probably heard of intermittent fasting where it's a 16-hour fast, but I like a 24-hour fast. Um, takes a little getting used to um, and you know and it's not something I would say to do aggressively you know I start people once every two weeks and then maybe once every ten days and then maybe once every seven days but I want you guys to give it a try I'm going to talk a lot more about fasting because I think in our industry we really need some help with with health general health and I just see a lot of people who eat need eat, eat, they get insulin resistant they have a lot of issues and a simple fast. And hey, it's free, right? You save money, you're not buying food, so who can beat that? So I want you guys um, to try it. If you're insulin resistant, if you have high blood sugar, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just telling you, this is something you might want to research and look into. Um, and comment below what questions you have. I know there's a lot of questions regarding this topic, many different ways to do this, but comment below and I'll answer every single question I get. So. Thanks for listening and stay tuned. I'm going to be talking a lot more about fasting in the future.